My name is Dana, and I'm here today to guide you on a 15-minute journey of meditation and mindfulness. I'm joined today by Priya, Ruth, Sarah, Samaya, and Jennifer. yoga we know how important vibration is and chanting and sound or vibration made audible so today I'm going to begin by chanting OM three times behind the practice is always the same. To help you feel more calm, to help you be more grounded, and most of all, to allow you to be more connected to your inner self and spirit. Today I'm going to be using a technique called guided visualization to allow our focus to come to rest on a particular idea or concept that you can use as part of your spiritual toolbox, such that when you encounter challenges or difficulty in your life off the chair or cushion, you'll be able to refer to it and eventually rely upon it to help you move forward in a more positive way. The concept I'd like to offer you today is called in Sanskrit, Pratipaksha Bhavanam, and it translates as when you are met with a negative thought, idea, or person, bring your focus and attention to its opposite. Now that might be new for some of us, but for example, let's say that you were up for a promotion at work and you didn't get it. And so you're disappointed that you didn't receive the new job and 
you might even feel a little covetous of the person who did in your place. If we can practice wishing them well and the best and bringing our attention to places where we have succeeded in the past or in other places, it's easier to relieve ourselves of the disappointment of the momentary loss. It can be helpful to remember that everything that occurs in our life, the joyful, the sorrow, the easy, the difficult, it was really all part of the lessons we've come into this life to learn in order to become the self that we were meant to become. When we think of it that way, we put less pressure on the things that are difficult and we move forward with more ease into the things that are sweeter. So let's try it together. Realign yourself in your seat, have your feet on the floor, and sit up tall, unless you're sitting with your legs crossed. But either way, lift your spine up and let the palms rest comfortably in your lap. And then take a big breath in and let go of the big sigh or sound. And then just let the shoulders be soft a little bit. Let the throat be relaxed, let the face relax as well. And just for a moment, think of something smaller that might be challenging you now. Something that might be causing you stress, some place you might feel stuck, something or someone that might be getting the better of you. And view it inside your mind without judgment, without fighting, without struggle. Just see it for what it is and acknowledge it as it is. And notice how that makes you feel. Perhaps you might even feel a little heavier or more sad or more stuck. And then ask yourself, what is the opposite of this? If I feel angry, perhaps I can think of forgiveness. If I feel disappointed, perhaps I can feel more hopeful. If I feel worried, perhaps I can think of something that makes me feel lighter, and freer, and relieved. But really see yourself shifting the focus of your thoughts from that which is dense to that which is better. And notice how you feel as you do. It's very empowering to remember that we are in control of our thoughts and that we are the arbiter of our responses. We don't always believe that. Sometimes we feel that we're the victim of our thoughts or that things happen to us. But the more we can claim the vibration, the level of our own thinking, the more we can choose what populates our mind, the more we can decide whether or not we're going to let something or someone bother us or get the better of us, the more strengthened we are, the more clear we are, the more self-driven we are, and that's a good thing. So continue to bring your focus to the opposite of your challenge. Continue to harness the direction of your thoughts. And by the way, notice the places where there's resistance because this might be new and you might not think it's possible. So of course, as always, we practice. Keep bringing your thoughts to something more pleasant. Keep 
focusing on your attention to something or someone that brings you joy. With time, it becomes easier. And then when you are met with someone, something that's difficult or negative, you will quickly reclaim your thoughts, your energies, the place where you put your focus. And the result of that is always is for your best and highest good because you'll just have a better day. So then just use a couple more breaths. And then breathe in really deeply. Sip in more air than you think. And imagine that one thing that's keeping you stuck to that thing or person, you can release just by breathing out loud and then let all the air out. So you can open your eyes now. We're going to close with one home together. I hope you'll join us at home. Inhaling. Today's session was helpful for you in some way. Thank you so very much for joining us. From all of us here, namaste.